You know how you love a good YouTube binge? Turns out AI wants in on that fun. As we grow our channel, we've decided to try out some shorts, but here's the challenge. We are shorts newbies. I bet ChatGPT isn't up to date on such a rapidly evolving topic. If the best info I can find is on YouTube, then ChatGPT needs to be watching with me. We're gonna try to make ChatGPT an expert on an emerging trend by watching YouTube. The dream of every content creator is to have a knowledgeable co-writer. So power users harness AI as an advisor, and we're definitely in that league. But our AI needs some updated knowledge on creating killer YouTube shorts. One problem is that relying on AI's past knowledge isn't always cutting edge enough for some types of topics, but it's a good place to start, so we're gonna give it a try. So I'm opening a brand new ChatGPT chat. I'm gonna make sure I have ChatGPT4 enabled, and I'm gonna make sure I have some plugins. Most importantly, I'm gonna make sure that this chat includes a special plugin called Vox Script. If you don't have this plugin, go ahead and head over to the plugin store because you're gonna want this one. If you don't know how to do plugins or how to enable them, we have a whole video for that. Check out below. So Vox script is enabled. We also have AI PDF, that browser, but those are kind of our standards on this. So here, I'm just gonna start by putting in a prompt that tells ChatGPT that I'm interested in learning about YouTube shorts and to tell me some of the best practices it knows that I can already take into account when we design shorts. So I'm typing, hi, I need your help with the project. I need to start making YouTube shorts for my channel. I don't know anything about shorts and I want your help making incredible expert killer scripts and content ideas. Our goals are to build retention time, watch time within, within the short and to gain subscribers. Let's start with the basics. Can you give me the best practices for YouTube shorts development? And then I'll let it generate this. Now, I actually am going to learn alongside it, but what I really need is ChatGBT to become a crazy expert at YouTube shorts. I just need to know a little bit to see if it seems like it's on track. So this overview will probably help me a lot more than it helps it. Here we go. Um, understand the format, 60 seconds or less. Um, content ideas could be trending topics, tutorials, behind the scenes, challenges, teasers, engaging quickly, hook in the first few seconds, have a clear message, optimize for discoverability, keep it short. I include the word shorts, apparently, is what it believes. Engage with their audience, have a call to action. Quality over quantity, high quality production, even though it's short, good video or an audio are important. Use jump cuts, effects, and music to make the video engaging. You go ahead and make sure you're analyzing and iterating, cross-promote it, uh, stay updated, and be consistent. Okay, all right, that's a little vague. So you can see, okay, that's a good start, but yeah, it seems a little generic. The problem is that just asking AI isn't really enough. It needs to see and learn the dire nuances directly from YouTube. And here's where the magic of the Vox script plugin comes in. By using the Vox plugin, I can literally feed YouTube videos, the whole thing, into AI. Then it processes it, learns it, tailors its advice to the current YouTube trends. But you know, absorbing content and providing actionable advice are sort of two different ball games. We'll start by feeding it in a whole bunch of videos and let's train ChatGPT. I've been meaning to do this shorts project for a while. It seems like a fun experiment. And the problem is that I haven't had any time to just learn about shorts. And I could have gone ahead and like maybe put in a whole bunch of shorts when we do this, but instead I'm gonna actually put in videos where content developers are talking about the ways they've had success using YouTube shorts, because that's really what I want. So here's the prompt I'm gonna use. I'm gonna ask you to help me develop a script for a short. How does that sound? But I wanna design our own unique style based on the best practices of a bunch of successful shorts developers. I need your help summarizing all the relevant points from a bunch of videos. Here's the first one. Let's see what happens. I really can't wait to try this. Okay, if you look at my screen, there are like a ton of videos up here. And that's because I went into YouTube and I searched for things like YouTube, how to develop YouTube shorts. And then I literally just started clicking on any title that sounded interesting. So I'm gonna start loading these in one at a time. The reason I opened them all up in tabs is that I figured I'd just copy the links over. So let's just try it. I probably could have just like made a list or a watch list or something. I haven't played with that. So I'm gonna load these in one at a time at first and see what we get. Okay, I just copied the link. And now with all these tabs, I'm gonna go try to find my, <laughs> my chat GPT prompt. And I uploaded the first one. Let's see how it goes. It, oh, I didn't even tell it I needed it to use Vox script. It already has started using that. So that's a great sign. It uses it twice, all right, three times, okay. Okay, it, you pulled up Vox a few times and then it says, here are the key takeaways from this video. 
YouTube initially serves random shorts to a new viewer, and based on their engagement, it builds a profile. Shorts with a higher average view duration tend to get more views. The shorts length matters. 50 to 60 seconds performs better. I know I've seen some other ones that said, yeah, 35 seconds is better, so this is just one. Okay, so basically, they're talking about who viewed versus swiped away, how many subscribers were gained. Okay, so this is one opinion. Let's we'll see what happens if I give it two videos at the same time. Can you check out these two and give me summaries just as detailed as the one above? Also, can you tell me the video title and the duration at the top of each summary? It just occurred to me that if it can tell me the duration of the video, then I can keep track of how much time I'm saving. Okay, the first one was a 14 minute video. Now, here's this next one. This is tips for more entertaining videos. And then this one is the best way to monetize YouTube shorts. Sure, right, why not? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's see if it can do two. Also, you can see I have a bunch of typos in here. I could go back and fix them, but ChatGPT honestly doesn't care. <laughs> okay, so it gave me the video and the duration. Key takeaways, how they can leverage for income. 30 to 60 seconds is better. Okay, so and it said the blueprint for success involves creating shorts, documenting the process on a long form channel and leveraging both. Okay, not sure that's that helpful. Video one. Um, the camera subtracts 20% of your enthusiasm. That's a little scary. Am I coming across a little flat to all of you? <laughs> it might just be my camera. Should I upgrade? <laughs> okay, I didn't know what was coming here. Silence can disrupt the flow of a video. It's crucial to minimize silence. Okay, I like the first one. Um, meaning this first video, the video one, three tips for more entertaining, really good. Structure is vital. They have to be more well-structured, clean, beginning, middle, end. Importance of story, humans are wired to enjoy stories. Okay, so even if it's a simple structure, it needs to be present. Amazing, okay, it did great on two. All right, let's see what happens if we give it three videos. I got 35 million views in six months. Sure, that's what we'll have. <laughs> Why shorts stop getting views? Sure, that could be helpful. How to get millions of subscribers in your spare time. Mm -hmm. So I say those summaries with title and duration are perfect. Can you do three more? I'm learning so much. So yeah, be encouraging. While it's figuring those out, I think I'll start copying in the next video. I'm gonna repeat this process a few times, you can see. So don't worry, I'm not gonna have you watch all of these. <laughs> so this is crazy. In the time it took me to copy and paste three videos links in to prepare for the next prompt, it watched and summarized three videos for me. So let's see how well it did, but how crazy great is this time hack? You know, what's funny is, of course, like a lot of YouTube, I'm watching because I want to watch. And even these, I find myself so drawn to wanting to see like, what they say and learn it. It's just simply, I don't have time to watch everything I want to watch. So this is an incredible hack. It's doing a beautiful job. Title and duration are there. These are all perfect and amazing. While I'm actually going to get it started on the next three while I read these three. So I'm hitting send on. These are so great. Can we do three more? Hit send on that. Keep it working for me. Okay, look at how to make YouTube Shorts five tips. The video begins by discussing potential. Um, the thumbnails matter, use strong hooks, optimize it for mobile. So apparently they're watched on mobile even more than others. Engage your audience and be consistent. Next one, capture the view attention, use music, be patient. I'm gonna finish out the rest of this list now. Okay, how cool is this? I just tallied it up and I just had to watch 95 minutes of video that I don't have time to watch right now and summarize all of it in detail. I'm now gonna have it turn that into something we can use. So the question is, after getting all this AI advice and using Vox script, will it actually resonate with our audience and sort of capture the essence of what we wanna do in a YouTube channel? So it's showtime, we're gonna put this AI to the test. We're gonna use our Vox script enhanced knowledge. We're gonna craft a script and format a template for our shorts. It's an experiment. We'll tweak and adapt it based on our AI's insights. It's gonna be like having an expert short script writer in the room. But is it gonna be production ready? Let's check it out. So the prompt I am using now is fantastic. Can you use all the input you've just gotten from these shorts creators to create a viral shorts video script for us? The topic will be, funny images we've gotten using Dolly 3 image generation in ChatGPT. So it said, here's the script for a viral YouTube short titled Hilarious Dolly 3 Creations in ChatGPT. It starts with high energy catchy music, a quick montage of some of the most bizarre and funny images generated by Dolly 3 flashes across the screen. The narrator with enthusiasm. 
Ever wondered what happens when ChatGPT meets Dolly 3? Let's dive into the funniest creations. And then it goes through and says like, oh, first up a pineapple with some serious moves. And then we would generate a pineapple dancing. I have a feeling what we'll actually use are some of the hilarious things we've actually already gotten. But it is cool that it tried to give, even give us the content. So I'll go back in and have input in what we're going to actually do in our video. But cool, we're on track. It says it closes with um, the world of Dali and JatGBT is a wild, wacky, and oh so funny. Which creation is your favorite? So we'll see. I've never done a short. We'll see how it comes together when it's all edited. And then it says, this script incorporates humor, engaging visuals, and a clear call to action, all of which are essential elements for a YouTube short. Let me know if you'd like any adjustments or if there's anything else I can assist with. And from here, I already have this chat. So at this point, I go this button right here and say, share this chat. And then I'd say, I would call this, yeah, YouTube Shorts Best Practices. That's a great name. Copy that link and now that I have the link, I could always restart with this chat that's already populated with all this information. Such a cool hack, right? And every time it does it, it will have already learned these 95 minutes of YouTube information. The Vox script plugin is a game changer. Allows AI to tap into the essence of YouTube, just like us. Imagine an AI who's watched all the latest YouTube content. Are you curious about our first AI assisted short and how it turns out? I am too. It'll take you less than 60 si 60 seconds to see it in action, and we will link it as soon as it's done in the description below.